hi guys welcome to my youtube channel it is your girl to frame and we are back with another video yes i'm still going to say we are back with another video until i find a new thing to say afterwards Sha. so this video is a kind of like you know tip video and i'm going to be telling you five productive apps that i use so yeah let's go to the video and wait, 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 wait. if you have not subscribed you better you better subscribe now because this video is going to really help you a lot especially for content creators and for students so subscribe and let's go to the video so my first app is canva so Canva is also is a mobile and you know it's mobile and on the laptop share. It is a how do I call it? It is a very very productive app because it has amazing features like content calendar. It has like a lot of templates you can use for your social media, and it has a lot of you know details on how you can design a particular post you can design your page you can design your um book or anything i use canva mostly for my ebook and it really helps me a lot canva is one productive app that i feel like every content creator should be able to know even when you're trying to like you know make thumbnails for your youtube channel you can also make use of canva if you're a content creator and you want to create a content calendar you can make use of canva it is totally free and there's also the pro um version where you have to pay but i'm not using the pro version yet but then the free one has a lot of amazing you know features that you can still use yes so um i got introduced to canva last year late last year when i was finding it hard to create thumbnails for my youtube channel so i got introduced to snapshot snapshot adobe snap snapshot and canva i use both of them but for my laptop i use my canva and then my mobile phone i use snapshot yes so um i would say that these these um, apps have really helped me a lot to be productive even in my business even in my um, social media I use my Canva to create my console post I use my snapshot to create YouTube thumbnails and they've been really helping me very well so yeah they really made me productive these apps and the fact that I'm able to organize what I'm going to post and how I'm going to post it on these apps makes make things very 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 easy yes so our next app is google google i feel google is one underrated is one of most underratedly overrated yes platform google has literally helped me a lot like i can literally google everything i'm one i'm one person that is very 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 conversant with google like i can google if i have an issue even if it's health issue i can literally google it no matter how slight and like simple it is i can google it so like i make use of google and google features so i make use of google forms and like google meets google calendar i make use of a lot of things that google basically make and their apps because google is like a very very easy you know platform that you can just get everything that you want to get and you can also get content ideas for youtube you can get um um guides you can get online courses there and google also provides online courses for people and they are very 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 affordable so google is actually a very productive platform this year i did two google courses earlier this year and they really really helped me i think um one was on digital marketing the second one was also on digital marketing but i think content creation aspect though but then those like google has literally helped me this year i even had to like you know go for their events and you know just 
yeah just learn from google because it's one place that i hope to work as a content you know strategist or a content creator for google yes it, it will sound really nice yes i really hope to go to like google headquarters one day but i will go surely by god's grace yeah so my next app is pinterest so pinterest i feel like a lot of people don't don't rate pinterest pinterest has a lot pinterest is one app that every content creator should have it has everything there if you want to have fashion ideas if you want to learn how to sew if you want to learn how to do anything i learned how to write an ebook through pinterest i learned how to edit my pictures through pinterest so pinterest is really really nice very very productive app you can learn a lot you can use it to work and get ideas on different and amazing things basically so don't honor pinterest pinterest is really good and the fact that it is very 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 like easy like it gives you like opportunity to also put up your own like you know put up your own um content too so it, and you can also get people's content too and their ideas so it's really nice it's a very 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 nice app it's somewhat like google but i think it's the much more modern and pictorial version of google that's what i can say yes now my fourth app is instagram i know a lot of people be like instagram is a distraction instagram is a you know it's just for gist basically i don't use my instagram for just for gist do i see a gist especially you know from gist love and all. but then like i use my instagram very well i learn from a lot of content creators very well if you check my social media followings i follow more of content creators more of you know social media managers more of you know um instagram pages so that i can be able to learn from them when there is any update anything that i need to learn anything that i need to you know know when it comes to how to use the platform instagram so instagram is a very very good app that you can also learn from and this time you're learning from people directly from people that you can relate with you can send them dms you can literally learn from them so instagram is a very very good app so don't underrate instagram yes and make sure you use your social media platforms wisely don't just use it for post pictures and all you can learn you can learn how to cook on ig there are lots of cooking pages i follow like i can't even count how many cooking platforms i follow so yeah so instagram is very very good so our final app is notion notion is a website i use on my laptop and it's basically for content creation for planning organizing creating a content calendar creating a to-do list if you're the type of person that wants to do like you know um if you don't like the hard copy type of to-do list or hard to copy type of co content calendar you can decide to make it or notion and then you can just like put it on your laptop and then set it up so i make use of notion i got introduced notion recently my boss uses notion so i started learning how to use it and it is a very very productive app i would say so if you're a student that want to create a content calendar or a calendar school calendar or something use my use my student planner but notion app is very very good mostly for content creators so these are the five um, apps that have really helped me to be very very productive in my content creation life and i hope to explore more applications and when i do i'll surely let you guys know so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe